So we have a BGP neighbor relationship from the Cisco to the Junos. I'll now configure the other Cisco device and let's check if the neighbor relationship comes up there. So here's the second Cisco device. Host is R2, interface gigabit 00, no shut. IP address 192.168.122. And let me make sure that I got the IP address right. So on the SRX device, show configuration. Look at the BGP configuration. This is the neighbor relationship that the Junos is configured as. And that's the IP address of the Cisco. So router BGP 65003, neighbor 192.168.122.25, remote AS 65001. To confirm that, show interfaces. This SRX has this IP address. So that's the IP address I'll use here. I'll create a loopback interface of quadruple two. Go back to BGP and redistribute connected interfaces. So show IP BGP summary. Neighbor relationship is still idle at the moment. Let's see if that relationship comes up. And there you go, it just has. So relationship is now up. Show IP BGP. Routes have been learnt through BGP, such as quadruple one. So going back to this router, show IP BGP. This router has been learnt through BGP. Now this route originated in Autonomous System 65003, then it went to Autonomous System 65001, and then it was advertised by this router to the local router. So can we ping quadruple two? Yes, we can. So let's confirm that it's getting to this Cisco router. So debug IP ICMP, do the ping again, and we can see the debug on the Cisco router. Notice the IP address displayed is the SRX because of network address translation. So this device is being natted by the SRX device when traffic is being sent to the untrusted interface. So that looks good. What I'll do now is configure the Arista device. So on Arista by default, username is admin. There's no password, we enable, show run. There's the running configuration of the Arista device. So first thing I'm gonna do is enable IP routing. Interface, Ethernet one, no shut. IP address, 192.168.122. I'll configure this as 11, slash 24 mask. It's not a routed port, so no switch port. Configure the IP address again on the interface. It's now accepted. So ping, 192.168.122.1. I can ping the NAT cloud and I can ping the Cisco device from the Arista device. So Arista can now ping this Cisco device. So conf t, router, BGP, and in this example, it's gonna be 65,004. So 65,004, neighbor, 192.168.122.12. Remote AS 65003. Interface loopback zero. IP address quadruple three. Notice very similar to Cisco. Go back to BGP on the Arista. Redistribute connected interfaces. Show IP BGP summary. Neighbor relationship is currently active because we have to configure the Cisco side. So on the Cisco device, router BGP 65003, neighbor 192.168.122.11, remote AES is 65004. And we can confirm that, here it is, or we can use a show run to view the BGP configuration. 
So show IP BGP summary. Currently idle on this side. Let's see if we can ping that neighbor. And just as I was doing that, notice the neighbor relationship came up. So we can ping the rooster, but again, show IP BGP summary. Neighbor relationships are both up at the moment. In other words, they established. Nothing is displayed here. On this side, show IP BGP summary. We can see that the relationship is established on the Arista side. So show IP BGP. There are our BGP routes. So as an example, we can see that this network 1.1.1.1 was learnt from Autonomous System 65002, which is this router. It went to the SRX, went to the Cisco, was advertised by the Cisco to the Arista device. On this Cisco router, show IP BGP. It's learnt about the loopback of the Arista. Route was advertised by Arista, went to the second Cisco router, went to the SRX, was advertised to us by the SRX. So can we ping the Arista device? Yes, we can. So we've successfully configured this network with BGP. There's a BGP relationship between the Cisco device and the SRX. The SRX and the Cisco device, and the Cisco device and the Arista. As an example on the internal Cisco device, Show IP route shows us the IP routing table. This IP address was advertised by Rista. This IP address was advertised by the Cisco device. These networks are advertised to the local Cisco router by the Juniper SRX device. I'll configure a default route on the Cisco device pointing to the SRX. So hopefully I'll be able to ping the NAT cloud, which I can. I'll enable IP domain lookup. And I'll enable a name server of Google. So I should be able to ping Google from the Cisco device and other websites on the internet, which I can. So this device is learning about routes through BGP from the Juniper device. It's also got a default static route to the Juniper device. The Juniper device has got NAT enabled. It's NATing internal IP addresses, which means that this device can get to the internet even though the NAT cloud doesn't know about the 10 network running internally here. That's because the SRX device is NATing the internal network which hides the internal network from the NAT cloud. And the NAT cloud is NATing this entire GNS3 network from my physical network, which means that as an example, this Cisco device can ping my physical Cisco device in my physical topology. So as an example, I could telnet to my physical Cisco router this is running in my internal network. So if I did a debug IP ICMP here, this is a physical device running behind the NAT cloud. Notice this internal Cisco router can ping the physical Cisco 1941 router, and we can see the debug on the 1941 router. It's seeing this as the source of the ICMP traffic because of the NAT cloud. So again, this device is being NATed by the SRX, being NATed by the NAT cloud, and then the traffic is sent to my physical Cisco router in my network. So that was an example of Juniper, Arista, and Cisco all working with NGNS3 using BGP. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to wish you all the very best.